to get it get out my my thoughts on this situation in video form as well i wanted to get my thoughts in video form or just say the words i don't like typing i don't like typing this kind of stuff hey what's up brandon brandon how was japan man you were there for a while looked like you had some fun I don't like typing my opinions on these things. I'm much better at articulating with my big boy voice. I won't be on this too long. We'll get into tech and actually playing in a couple minutes. I just wanted to uh, to voice my opinions on this. Um, man, it's it's a bummer. I mean, so. For those who aren't aware, everyone should be fucking aware at this point. Leroy has been a pretty big issue balance-wise since he came out back in the mid mid December, and um, there was this patch that just came. the The notes came out today. It actually is being implemented. What tomorrow? Um, that people aren't too happy with. And I just had some thoughts. I mean, there's some other character adjustments here for Anna, Leggy, Sakuma, some Josie fixes, uh, some Shaheen fixes. Mostly, this is just slight buffs and some slight fixes. Nothing crazy. I mean, the Leroy shit is what people were really were really looking for. Um, and I would be. <laughs> It would not be an exaggeration to say that people are kind of freaking out. This song is cheesy. People are kind of freaking out right now. Um, because these fixes are... They're, they're okay. They're okay. Some of them are kind of pointless. Um, there's some good things that happened with this as well. I, I mean... I'm not exactly super qualified to talk exactly about these fixes. There's plenty of very experienced pro players that have put out very knowledgeable opinions on this. I want to talk about what the fucking freak out is going on and how I like kind of scared <laughs> because the fighting game community is like one of the most spiteful and like grudge holding com like just gaming communities ever like in my experience playing video games in my fucking you know, two decades of living uh or two, almost two and a half they are so spiteful and this hold on to grudge is so fucking hard and it's like tekken had this very healthy life what's up gem had a super healthy life all you know pretty going really well an amazing track record um, a couple of bumps in the road, you know, with Akuma and, and Geese, some issues with that. Um, I would argue that a big injustice that has been happening to Tekken that no one really talks about is like the characters that don't really get picked a lot and aren't popular, um, that don't get the fixes that they deserve, like Gigas. Imagine if people freaked out this much about Gigas getting fucked over for, like, the millionth patch in a row. No buffs. No, you know, design changes. Nothing. Like, he gets a little breadcrumb here and there. Right? Shit like that. Gigas getting kind of screwed. Lars has been, like, treated pretty poorly in Tekken 7. I mean, he's not the worst. He's not as bad as Gigas, but he's still pretty fucking rough. Um, he was good for, like, a week, and then... They like reverse the change. <laughs> that was back in, I think that was season two. Um, and there's a handful of other characters that just get no fucking love, and no one on the internet's freaking out. So that's an injustice that I say has been going on with Tekken for a while. But this is like people are saying that like Tekken's dead. I'm switching back to Tekken Tag Two. Um, you know, fuck Tekken. All this shit. It's like a little thing, in my opinion. It's this. It's very. Isn't Tekken Tag Two broken? He. I mean, I didn't play Tekken Tag Two. 
from what I've watched and from what I've heard people talk about, Tekken Tag 2 has some insane shit too. I think Brandon, if he's still here, he played quite a bit of Tag 2. He's probably... Um, but like, it's this is definitely disheartening. So if you if you're familiar with the way that Tekken gets balanced, um, they and I was hoping that they wouldn't do this with Leroy, but they are very much a less is more, let the player base figure it out style of developer. Um, they don't do huge character overhauls unless it's like a brand new season. Um, usually with these little patch notes, they're very small incremental changes that, um, you know, it's like a little thing here, a little thing there. Um, it's not like big overhauls. And so they're not like Blizzard who just like an Overwatch just completely destroys a fucking character in a patch because they were strong you know they they're they're pretty gentle right they they just give little love taps when it's needed the problem is with leroy is it's a fundamental issue with the character as a whole that just these little changes weren't enough um these little changes weren't enough and that he kind of needed a whole overhaul because when they designed him, it, this is like a design thing, a design issue. When they designed him, they made him such an all around character that like just perfect. I won't say perfect. It's a little bit of an exaggeration, but um, th the best in every way in every field that, just these little changes like damage from 25 to 21, you know, damage from 14 to 12. Like, this is nothing. These, these like, little damage changes, while it's nice, um, this isn't going to mean much in the grand scheme of things. Um, the streamer is noob. Yeah, I'm noob. Um, I mean, it's nice to get some damage changes, but I think overall it's, uh, the little damage changes aren't the issue, right? It's the, um, the character all around is, is kind of the problem and that they kind of need some more work. And there's people, there's like rumors. I don't, I don't want to believe this to be true that they made him buff to sell DLC I don't know. Streamer is also monkey brain. This is also true. Um, I don't know. I don't want to believe that. That they would make a absolutely busted character and piss off their whole player base just to sell DLC. I don't want to believe that. Uh, but people are rumoring it. And there's that screenshot that these changes were made back in like December. And, um, yeah, it's, like, in the link. I don't know how, like, linking stuff works and all that. I mean, it, I don't know. That doesn't seem, like, conclusive evidence to me. I'm not gonna... Maybe that's, like, my, my all my legal classes, like, kick it into my brain or something. You know, like, just because a link... Just because a link has a date on it doesn't mean necessarily that, like... This is when, I don't know. It, I mean, it's kind of obvious, but I don't want to say it's concrete, is what I'm trying to say. So there's a lot of shit going on, and it's this Tekken community is incredibly negative right now and saying the game's dead and saying all sorts of really ridiculous stuff. Michael Murray's going on a fucking rampage on Twitter, blocking everyone, which isn't a good look. And it's kind of a bummer. It's, I don't want people to, you know, despise Tekken so much. It's like I got away from playing, like, Street Fighter V and all this stuff because, I mean, like, the game has its issues, but the community was even worse with just how they are acting about the game and Street Fighter V. 
And now Tekken is kind of getting that feeling too, where it's just like people are losing their fucking mind. And I still have, I still love this game and appreciate it. I think it's a great game. Um, I just, uh, I just don't know how this is going to shake out. I'm more, I'm not so worried about the online experience. You know what I mean? Like people who are playing online, I play quite a bit of Tekken ranked, not a whole lot, but I play a fair amount of Tekken ranked. I played almost every morning before work and I play it on stream all the time. And I, I run into Leroy's. I don't, it's not like every match is Leroy. I run into like maybe one Leroy a day. So it's not like it's just a wave of Leroy's. And maybe I'm lucky and maybe it's like my rank. I'm only in orange ranks. Um, maybe it's that. I don't know. Maybe as you get higher, higher rank, it's just constant Leroy's. I mean, I watch a lot of Tekken streams as well and, I mean, I see them running into Leroy, but it's once again, it's not like just Leroy, 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 Leroy. It's not constant. So I'm not worried about the people who are just playing ranked. What I'm worried about is every Tekken top eight having uh, like four Leroy's, five Leroy's, and it just killing any sort of hype or momentum that the game was having. Um, my last little bit of hope is for the it's for another patch to come out before Tekken World Tour starts. And um that starts in April, I believe. I think it's at Tokyo uh Tokyo Tekken Masters, I believe is the first Tekken World Tour event. I might be wrong, someone can correct me on that. Um that's in April. And I feel like they probably had this patch ready, but they didn't want to put it out until after Evo Japan. Um, that's my guess. This is all conjecture as a thing. Everyone's just throwing out theories. And it's probably not the best thing for the game. I think what people should just really kind of argue about is these changes aren't enough. Um, just simply not enough. Some of them are arguably pointless. I won't say pointless. I'm just bummed out that they just threw a bunch of like slight damage decreases. Like this was, I mean, obviously damage decreases are nice, but like Tekken 7 Season 3 is everyone does a massive amount of damage. Like huge amounts of damage in Season 3. Almost every cast member now does. So, like, just to see, like, minus five damage, minus two damage, you know, like, minus four. Like, it's not, that's not the issue. It seems like it was, like, <laughs> padded out, you know, with these with these little damaged debuffs or uh, damage nerfs. Um, There are some good things in here. Like, this down two four is, is, like, pretty good. With these uh, changes here. Um, yes, man. There's going to be a real patch when the new character comes out before April. There's small damage frame nerfs that don't require a large amount of recording. They will evaluate how these changes make him. And from there... Yeah. I, and Brandon, I completely agree with you. I'm in the camp of people are completely over-exaggerating. And like freaking out. I completely agree with you. Um... Yeah, I, I think that in, in April is a, another big patch once uh, Fakuram comes out, it's gonna is going to come. And so I th this to me seems like this is just to like hold people, like keep them at bay. Like, hey, here you go, like chill out. But instead of like keeping people, you know, chilling them out, it was, it just fuck them up more <laughs> they're, just, they're just more mad because they wanted him to get like absolutely destroyed you know yeah and i think this is mostly his con and i said that on my discord earlier that his mostly his combo damage got nerfed here and some combo potential um there's one of his moves here 
that doesn't that no longer combos i don't remember which one it is It's like that that low where he's like sweeps his leg out and he's able to get like that last little hit off. Um that got removed because of I just don't remember what the input for that one is. I haven't really played much Leroy. I just just watched <laughs> a lot because I'm kind of forced to. Um yeah, it's just I just hope people chill the fuck out, man. Chill the fuck out and I think everything will be okay. It's just it's there's some theories about why Leroy is the way he is and all that shit. And um I think that that's not healthy necessarily to the conversation. I think that if you want to really help the issue, you should probably just talk about like real shit, not like theories and like going and analyzing every single Michael Murray tweet and freaking out that Michael Murray blocked someone and like it's just like people are focusing on the wrong things so silly oh yeah the orbital change as well yeah the orbital change is pretty good I will agree with that that's a pretty good nerf yeah and there's people who saying that like nothing changed and I don't agree with that at all there was good data nerfs that did happen I just the the, the slight little damage nerfs were like I mean they're not pointless but it just wasn't the issue was my opinion the orbital nerf is for sure nice um the uh isn't the back one plus two punishable now as well i mean it's it's jab punishable it's not like launch punishable or anything um i think that could that got nerfed as well like negative it's a uh, 10 on block Oh, it's the same? What am I thinking of that got... That got, uh, nerfed. Something got, uh... Made so that it can be jab punishable now. I've been busy all day with chores and shit, so I didn't get the chance to, uh... Sit there and, and go through exactly all that happened what changed that's what people are mad about his really broken stuff was unchanged yeah precisely but yeah hopefully things chill out hopefully